Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, you got me to oh, push it off then. Your boat's on fire. Your boat's on fire. You better oh, move still up. Your boat's on fire. Your boat's on fire. I'm Caroline Graham and I lived on the Cataract River just around the corner from here for many years. And we saw that river completely wrecked due to long war mining going under it. And now today I've been paddling up the um, Nepean River here near Douglas Park. And I'm absolutely shocked at the extent of the methane eruptions, the methane vents because it's not only methane gas coming up, it's also all sorts of other gases, hydrogen sulphate and so on. And, um, and also that means that the riverbed is cracked, that's why the methane's escaping, because of the long wall mining nearby. And that also means that groundwater is getting into the river, into the Nepean River, and groundwater contains ecotoxic chemicals and um, saline water and um, it's flowing down to the Richmond Water Treatment Plant that supplies the city of Richmond with their drinking water. And it's just all adding to the pollution in the, the total pollution in this beautiful Nepean River. And I'm shocked that there were no, no signs of any life on the river, no fish, no ducks, no kingfishers. And that to me is shocking, it means the river is dead. The same thing happened in the cataract when hundreds of fish were killed due to this destructive mining and it's just got to be stopped. BHP said in the past that they wouldn't mine under rivers in future when they wrecked the cataract and we were really pleased about that and it, in fact it does make things worse but the trouble is they're still going too close to the river and that's been the problem here because the mine here is only about um, just over 100 metres I'd say from the river itself. It's just too close and it's causing all this destruction. Swamps act like giant sponges in the catchment, constantly supplying water to the dam in drought conditions, but longwall mining can crack and drain them, potentially making that water inaccessible forever. Hydrogeologist Dr Anne Young again. The swamps then continue to dry out, and we know also that the creeks near them dry out. What we don't know is whether that water re-emerges downstream. And so it's a big risk that we're taking with our water catchment. One worst case scenario predicted up to 7.3 million litres of water could be lost per day from the catchment. The New South Wales Department of Planning and Environment said that was extreme and unrealistic. Water New South Wales had a different take, describing it as an unacceptable amount of water loss, particularly in dry times.